Well, welcome back to Life on Cars and I hope you're all well. Now, recently I had the diagnostic trouble code light or the EML, the engine management light, come on on the lovely Jaguar XK here. So I thought I'd actually take you through what I use, the kit that I use to um, read those P codes as they're known, powertrain codes or trouble codes that uh, crop up from time to time on various cars. So, yeah, I've never had the engine management light come on on the Jag since I've owned it, but um, it did come on um, a few days ago. So I'll share with you what the code was and I'll show you the kit that I used, which, which was super, super cheap. And it's all I've ever had in my home garage. And it's all I've ever needed so far. So uh, come on, let's have a look what I use. Let's go. So this is the little gadget that I use. It's uh, ELM327 interface, OBD2 interface. And it's a Bluetooth device. So it basically goes into the 16 pin OBD port on your car and then it communicates with your phone. Now to make it work, all you do is you download some software. But before I go on to that, these can be picked up online on various online um, auction sites. And they're very, very cheap. In fact, I've seen these currently for about five or six pounds. I've had mine for it could be 10 years um, and I just keep it in the toolbox and it comes out from time to time when I need to do a quick scan and see what's going on. So the software that I use, it's called Car Scanner ELM OBD2. I'll put a picture in the video. Now let's find out how it works. Come on, let's have a look. So there's my little uh, adapter and all I'm gonna do now is plug that into the OBD port which is just down the right hand side of the car there. Let's do that now. And once it's plugged in, you get a red light that comes on. What mine does as well is when it's communicating, you get a little yellow flashing light next to the red light. So what I need to do now is pop the ignition on. And then it's a case of going into the software on the phone that I showed you earlier that you diagnose, go into that and do a diagnostic code scan and get your codes up. So I'll show you what mine came up with. You can see there that it's flashing now because it's sending data. So you can see now that the um, diagnostic or the EML light is flashing on and off. That's because it started to communicate with my phone and it's starting to pull the data in. And then once you've finished, you basically turn the ignition off and um, you can take your adapter out. That code that I'm getting, that P0175, it's bank two rich. So basically what it's saying is the engine is running too rich on bank two. So there's quite a lot of things that can cause that trouble code to come up. Come up. It's not an easy one to, uh, to nail down straight away. So it's stayed off the last couple of trips that I've done in the car. Weirdly as well, it, it came on immediately after I put some, done a refuel, put some petrol in the tank. Um, so whether it's connected to that, possibly, because uh, you can get that code with things like um, pressure buildup in the tank that's suddenly released and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's just one to monitor for now. If anyone else has had P0175 on a Jaguar XK, drop me a message. Let me know what uh, what you did to fix it or whether you, whether you were able to narrow it down. 
The common one that most people will probably say is mass airflow meter. And I think this is still on its original mass airflow meter. It's done nearly 85,000 miles now, so but it's probably more the age, you know. Um, it's a 2006 car, so uh, I don't know. It might be worth popping out and giving the mass airflow meter a clean with some uh, what they call carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner, give it a blast over. Uh, so that might be something to try if the if the engine management light comes back on, I get the same code. So um, it's basically one to monitor for now on my car. Um, but yeah, this little gadget, literally for a few pounds, um, enables you to uh, not only read your fault codes, but to clear them. And you can get live data to work as well. So obviously if I end up having further problems, I'll let you know if I need to go down the route of reading live data and checking that um, certain sensors are working properly. You can actually do that with this uh, little device through your phone. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd share that. That's what I use. It's a handy piece of kit. It doesn't cost a lot of money and it just gives you a head start on figuring out what's going wrong when you get your EML light on. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. That would be fantastic. Check out the playlists around the channel and um, I hope to see you again very soon with something else on Life on Cars. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.